All right, cool. So let's start with probably the most important positioning, uh, 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 starting position in doubles, the serve, right? Yeah. And if if you got a partner, let's let's start by talking about a partner who's kind of stuck in the mud and maybe doesn't have the greatest volleys, isn't that confident yeah. in their volleys. What would you recommend somebody do in that situation? This happens to us a lot when we're playing pro-amps. Um, just a couple days ago, I was playing with a high school player. Nice kid, but um, he stood too so, far back. So Mike's the high school player. Here. Where do we put him? He stood too far He's back. Right here. Um, his volleys weren't horrible, but he was just a big target because um, any ball that came to him, it was pretty much a tough volley. He was taking yeah. it too low and wasn't getting enough stick on it. Because he was double skiller. too far back. Yeah, he was over, you know, here he is a little bit too far to the left. So I put my hand on his back and I just moved him forward and to the right a little bit. And this made him just a better player in general. You know, it just Made him less of a target. Any ball that came to him, he can kind of swat it away. Yeah. Even if his volleys weren't perfect, um, he still was able to put away points. And um, it was just better for us in, yeah, overall. He's so close. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. the secret sauce. You exactly. Know, just being on the net. Yeah, when you're the server and you know you, you have a guy that's not a great volleyer, that's when you got to take your first serve percentage even higher than 75. Um, I'm sure you're trying to make as many first serves as possible. If he's hitting second serves, returner can direct that ball right at your uh, lame duck at net. Yeah. So um, I'm sure you're maybe try, just trying to swing the tee, yep. taking some speed off, and um, yeah. Yeah, if I want to take my net guy out of the point, mm -hmm. I'm not going to serve wide because they're probably going to okay. hit it down the line at okay. him. So I'm going to swing at tee with my lefty serve and try to get him to push the ball over to me. So okay. if, if your net player is not very good and he's stuck in the mud, and um, you can, there's stuff you can do with your serve to draw the ball to okay. your side. So whether even if you're a righty, just go at the guy's backhand kind of tee yeah. to take this guy out a little bit. Yeah, and you'll get the yeah, the as as a server you get the ball the majority of the time. But if I hit my serve, my kick serve wide, then if that guy doesn't hit a perfect return cross court, then that player is in okay. play. Yeah. So it's that's sort of the deal, right? Cuz 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 uh, uh, sort of the deal is you move closer to the net, I'll get my first serve in. Is that kind of like you know, if you were going to put it on paper, that would be sort of the, uh, yeah, the yeah, way you'd yeah. explain I mean, it to you your say, partner. Hey, yeah, if you get closer, um, I'm, I'm not, not going to hit kill. I'm not going to hang you out to dry yeah. and hit, uh, you know, 80, 90 mile an hour second serves uh, to the returner. Because that, that just looks scary for the guy. The guy's going to slowly start backing up because he's fearful fret. Yeah. But if he's up here, you want to be making the first serve, he doesn't have to be a great volleyer. Mm -hmm. He can shank the volley and it's still going to be pretty good. And you have a lot of you have. I, would it be fair to say, as as the server, you have more control over your partner than in a different situation? Like if your partner's serving, he's kind of running the show, right? But yeah. If if you're serving, you can say, hey, why don't you? Can you help me out? Can you move up a little bit closer? Yeah. In as terms a, of that communication. As a server, you're running the play. Yeah. Um, usually, as a server, we're always calling where we're going to serve. Um, I'm calling. If we do run a play, I'm telling Mike to post. He's not telling me what to do. So as a server, you're you're running the play. Yes. Okay. okay gotcha. Gotcha. All right, cool. So we got Mike slash uh, Fearful Fred, partner that doesn't really move up in net. So how do you kind of take him out of the play with your serve he, so you get most of the balls? Doesn't move, doesn't want the ball. So I'm going to hit a serve down the tee that's kind of curling away. And he's going to make the returner just push it out to my side of the court. Here we go. Let's try it. And right there, he, he reached out. And he, he didn't push it over, but he was stretched. And any return that he hit down the line was weak, and even fearful Fred would have put that away. Yeah, that's a situation where just by positioning, by moving your, your partner and putting him in the right spot, even you know, let's say wrong grip, whatever, he's yeah. still gonna, he's gonna be, he's be all right. Good, he's in good shape. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. Don't, oh, you don't. come on, guys, we're demonstrating. Retake. Demonstrate. We can't, lo we can't lose <laughs> points over here. <laughs> Let's do it again, Fred. So that was out. You call you too call good again. Close. But that was, so actually, that was a that was a, a good question because when you're hitting quality serves, you're going to get a range. That's one of the big questions for the server is. I'm taking this guy out of the play, yeah. and the first volley we saw you hit was right down the middle. That one was out of shoelaces. So yeah. talk a little bit about your decision making in terms of where you're putting those volleys. Okay. Usually, if I get a high one, um, I'm using this net guy as a target. I'm okay. going at him low at his feet. Um, so no mercy. So no mercy. I yeah. mean, um, 
any ball at the shoelace is a very tough volley. So if I don't put it away, then I'm set a Mike. Even if he's fearful of Fred, he'll be in a good position. Okay. It, now, if, if he hits a low one at my feet, then I'm in, I'm, I don't have the advantage. So I'm going to try to push it back deep cross court. And so usually if it's low, I go cross court. If it's high, I go right at the net guy. Okay, let's, yeah. uh, let's, let's, we're going to have, we're going to have fearful Mike um, just chilling. <laughs> and then why don't you hit a couple serves, yeah. sort of hit the, hit the first volley, and then talk about why you went where. Okay. Come on, Fred, do something. I was stuck in the mud, man. I'm scared of the ball. The ball See, is scary. I went, cr I went cross court there uh -huh. because I was, I was way in the middle. It would have been very tough for me to pull that across my body at the neck guy. And had I gone there, he would have had the whole court to burn okay. me. But because I was pulled into the middle, um, Fred would have had to cover me there. Because he didn't um, take the middle and, po and poach, yeah. then I was in bad position. So, you know, if, if he had my back, I would have hit this ball. He would have come behind me and covered, okay, covered that got you shot. Have but I'm not a great net player. I don't know what to do up here. Yeah, so really I got to be a little man. bit faster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got to be more aggressive. Um, you know, if he's not aggressive on the first two shots, it, it's going to come to me. I don't want the ball. Yeah. I, I'm stuck in the mud here. So it's, it's his show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was almost worst case return yeah. to a large extent. Okay, I missed my serve, but I got an easy, easy reply, so I took it right at the net guy. He's my target, um, and he looks scared. You can see his face. And that's, and that's, you know, when you have a net guy who's really not helping you out, you want to keep the points as short as possible. Just like, don't give him an opportunity to start going at your partner. No, you want to. It's just like, if a guy, if if you're cramping, you go for winners. You want to <laughs> keep the sh the points as short as possible. Um, I have a liability up there at net, mm -hmm. so our team is cramping. <laughs> yeah. We, we got to finish the point as soon as possible, and I gotta, yeah, I gotta take more risk. And and um, by going low at the net guy, you'll probably get a pop up return of some capacity, so that you, the point really will be over fast. Yeah. Um, you put the next volley away, whereas going deep at the the baseline guy, he has way more of a opportunity to go with. He has more time, and he'll have Mike. definitely more control to direct it at the weaker player. Okay. If I'm going there low at his feet, I have I'm still in in the driver's seat. But as soon as I go back at the, at the baseliner, he has time for the ball to bounce, and then he can pick and choose where he goes. So it's, it, it sounds to me like what you guys are recommending is serve, and then as soon as possible, concentrate your fire on the net guy so the point's over. As soon as you get a high ball, take your okay. eye at the net guy's shoelaces, and then, yeah, close. All right, let's uh, see a couple more. And that one was a little bit lower, and you took a little pace off of it so that it would dip. Yeah, that was a, that was a little bit lower, but I still felt like I got it at hip level. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't get it as low at his shoelaces as I wanted, but I stuck it hard down the middle, and uh, we won the point. Mm -hmm. Okay, these guys are playing out of their mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt like I did all I could do. They're way too good. <laughs> Maybe they should be the number one seed. Yeah. <laughs> Tip of the cap. Yeah, Tip too the good. Cap. Too good. I mean, but I he, felt he like saw it. Japanese speed uh, speed yeah. drill. I felt like yeah. I hit the serve I wanted to hit, and I hit the volley that I wanted to yeah. hit. If if a guy zones like that, you gotta tip your hat. Sometimes it's just too good. Well, that's fine. I mean, you're gonna if, yeah. if if you force him to hit a quality shot like that, you actually that's a good situation to be in. Good shot. Congratulations. Congratulations. But that's one in a, a one in a million. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Two in a million. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about um, a, a, a fearful Fred who maybe is a little receptive to your coaching. Um, would you would you plan ahead and say I want you just to run to this spot? Yeah. Like like a, like a like yeah. almost you're calling a full poach. One of the things I like to do is I'll just tell my partner just if my serve goes in and it goes where I say it's going to go, run at the net strap. Just yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Um, Bob's the better player. Um, I've seen this time and time again in pro-ams. He's one of the best pro-am guys in the world. Um, he's the quarterback. He's telling um, his net guy or his partner what to do. A lot of times they want to be told what to do because they're, they're statues. Uh, yeah. They want to know where to go. Um, Bob will say, I'm serving T. 
uh, why don't you just move to the middle? That's all you have to do is take a couple steps to the middle to do that. You'll be fine. Yeah. Um, reassure your partner, and um, then Bob will shift over, and, and that, that's, a, that's a cool play, you yeah. know? It's, a full, it's kind of a switch. So, so we, when, we, when we did that clinic um, last year, you, were, you, you guys were coaching um, the guys you were playing with a lot, basically in exactly what you just described. So why don't you, let's, let's again pretend that Mike is, is the, the okay. guy you're coaching. So right, how, would you, how would this work? How would this work? Okay, Mike, uh, make sure that you get close to the net. Okay. I'm going to hit a serve to the body. And you just take three steps towards the net strap. Yeah. And get your hands out in front. To, to the right or left? To the right, towards the net strap. Keep okay. your hands out in front. And good luck. Hey, good coaching. And it worked. <laughs> so, so are you going to do, that was a full switch there, where you yeah. just told him to go and you covered over here. But is there ever a situation where you'll just kind of tell him to fill up the middle and you'll still stay on your side and almost give away the alley? Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean. If, if I know he's not a very good volleyer and he's more moving towards the middle, then I kind of come towards the center of the court so I can be ready for either thing. If, if I know um, the ball goes by him, I'll be ready for this one if the ball goes down. The, so it's kind of the, what we talked about before. He's playing the net. Um, you cut up the court in, in, in halves, the net half and the baseline half, and I'm just kind of roaming, You're kind know, of roaming. safety. Yeah. Got it. So would there ever be a situation... You know, you guys charge the net, but would it ever be a tiered process where maybe, I'm going to say, you know, Mike, you would run at the net strap. I would serve, maybe evaluate. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, then I might hit an approach. Yeah, yeah I mean, Bob does this uh, really well in, uh, in these situations. Um, if you serve in volley and you're hitting a, lo a low volley, uh, the next ball is going to go at your fearful Fred partner. So sometimes on a second serve, Bob will serve it. Wait to see where it goes and uh, and rip a, a forehand because he's got to be aggressive on the next shot. Yep. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, okay, so let's just say, let's just, okay, let's just say this is a second serve. You know, sometimes it's hard to control up the point when you when you're hitting low volleys because I'm ha I'm having to hit back to the guy on the baseline and then he can expose my weaker yeah. the weaker player. Some, sometimes I'll stay in the baseline and take a forehand and expose their weaker player. Which okay. Is that. All right. Okay, let's see how it works. Where so were you that time? That would have been a uh, <laughs> that would have been a low volley for Bob. So he yeah. uh, he backed up. He's got a strong form. He knows that, and uh, he waited, and then just crushed his uh, his aggressive form right at the net guy, and ended the point. Yeah. But if you try to get in too quick and serve volley, you're you're gonna be hitting up. So that, that's a great play, especially when you're playing with a, a weak net player. So, so a couple things went on there. I mean, a, a lot of people might have a, have a great net player, but, but they're getting killed on their approach volleys. They're hitting their, you know, they're yeah. digging them off their shoelaces. So yeah. then you would say, serve, kind of wait, and then crank it at that dude. Yeah. If yeah. you can get it low, he pops something up, and then you well, go after the next ball. Yeah. 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 I do this more when, when you have an unbalanced team. Okay. And I don't want this guy to get the ball. Okay. Um, I want to control, keep controlling the point, and hopefully pick on a, a weak net guy. I'll serve instead of getting a low volley and having to go back deep and giving this guy time to hurt my weaker player, uh -huh. my partner. I'll, I'll set up, take take a forehand instead of hitting a low volley. I'll hit a pretty easy forehand, and I'll hit at the just, net guy. Just direct all the fire on that guy and stay in control. Okay. Okay. And at the rec level, you get a lot of you get you're facing a lot of fearful Freds who will yeah. be positioned back like that, and it's just easy. You can stay in control. Yeah. All right. Let's see a couple more. Okay. I'll take it. Thanks, Will. Oh. Yeah. Yep. You're really trying to beat us bad, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here you go. But that was a that was a, I mean not a great volley by the net guy. So even fearful Mike can handle it. Yeah, yeah. Bob hit it so good. The return that, wasn't great, but had I come in, um, I might have had to hit that ball back cross court because yeah. it was low. So he would have had to control going at my weaker partner, um, which would have put us in a bad position. So here it is. Here it is again. Uh. Yep. So there was another one, kind of a uh, a little sitter there that 
Mike yeah. was able to dink. Bob stayed the... in control of the point, and, that, yeah. and that's the key in this situation. You kind of invented this play uh, a few years ago. And that's why you win every pro am. Is when you're playing with <laughs> fearful, fearful Fred, yeah. you serve on a second serve. You serve, and you don't get in too tight. You wait for the foreign and stay in control of the point. Yep. Yeah, and then I, I try to get like you saw there. I still come forward and I try to get to net because that's where I feel like uh, you know you're in the best position. And when you have two guys at net, but I didn't do it too soon so that I didn't have hit a weak volley back to the the guy hitting forehands. And, and if he Bob gets in tight. And uh, he sees the guy setting up. Sometime you'll see him. He'll just poach right in front of Fearful Fred, and uh, and be looking the, for the ball, because you know he, Fearful Fred can't volley and doesn't want to want to volley. So he'll just do a full poach right in front of his face, and try to end the point. So it's almost like it's, you got to be Fred's super 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 aggressive in this situation. I mean, you, you don't want to pick a partner that's scared to play at net, but sometimes you end up with them. Sometimes you're playing just a mixer, and, and you're uh, dealt this, this card, and uh, you just got to be super aggressive. Yeah. So you got Fearful Fred chilling here, and you just, on that side, yeah. though, and so you would just keep going. You know yeah. where it's going. It's yeah, about you know, seeing you the know ball. You know where it's going. Yeah. yeah. So it's, you know the ball's coming to the weaker guy. They're not stupid. You know, they want to hit it to a guy that can barely play. So you just imagine the ball's going to be right in front of his chest and get out there and save the day. <laughs>